At Play, Long Ago and Today by Lynette R. Brent. Long Ago. Imagine that it is long ago. You have just finished listening to your favorite radio show. Now you are making your own scooter with the wheels from your old roller skates and a piece of wood your dad gave you. Your friends are calling you from outside. It is time for you to try the scooter you have made. You run outside and meet your friends. They love the new scooter. This is what you may have been doing if you lived many years ago. What else would you have been doing with your friends and family long ago? Let's see what Americans did to play long ago. Long ago, children made their own scooters or rented them with their friends. Playing sports. Long ago, children played many sports. Boys mostly played stickball, basketball, football, and field hockey. Girls mostly played tennis, golf, and croquet. Children usually played together in their own neighborhoods. They did not have special times of the year for each sport. Stickball was played with a broomstick and a small ball. Today, children still play sports that were played long ago, but now both boys and girls play many of the same sports, like basketball or tennis. Many children play sports in community programs or for their school teams. Children play different sports at different times of the year. Girls and boys play baseball during spring and summer. Enjoying the park. Long ago, families enjoyed spending time together at the park. They took strolls, talked with friends, or just relaxed. They sometimes packed a picnic lunch and spent an entire afternoon at the park eating and having fun. Central Park in New York was the first public park in the United States. Today, Families still enjoy spending time together at the park. Now parks have more to offer, like slides, swings, jungle gyms, softball diamonds, or basketball courts. Many families still pack picnic lunches before they go to the park. Sometimes they have a barbecue and cook food on a grill. Today, parks like this one are found all around the United States. Games. Long ago, people played different kinds of games. Board games like checkers were a popular family activity. Marbles was a game that children liked to play with their friends. To play this game, children balanced their marbles against other marbles in a circle. They won any marbles they could knock out of the circle. Ringer and Rolly Hole were popular marble games. Today, people still play many of the same games that were played long ago, such as checkers and marbles, but now video games are also popular. Many children like to play video games on their televisions or on their computers. Some even have handheld video games that are so small they can be played anywhere. Children can play sports, adventure, or puzzle video games. Reading. Long ago, reading was something that families did together. Usually, one person in the family read aloud while the other family members listened. Most families owned just a few books because books were very expensive. Many towns did not have libraries. This meant families would read the same stories again and again. Reading was a favorite family pastime. Today, families still read together. Many children read with their parents before they go to bed at night. 
Many people enjoy listening to books that are recorded on tape or compact disc (CD). Today, because books cost less, families own more books than they did long ago. Also, people can get books from many places. Bookstores and libraries are popular places for people to find new books. Sometimes, family members take turns reading aloud. Family vacations. Long ago, few families took vacations. If they did, they went camping in a nearby forest or visited beaches that were close to home. There were few roads. So people could not easily travel to the places they wanted to go. Some families spent their vacations swimming or boating. Today, more families go on vacation because traveling is easier. There are many more roads across the country. People can drive their cars to places that are far from home. Some families travel by train or by airplane. By taking cars, trains, and airplanes, families have many choices of vacation locations. Many families take vacations all over the world. Special events. Long ago, there were many special events children looked forward to. One was the circus coming to town. Children would line the streets with their parents to see the animals and clowns walk through the town. Some towns even had carnivals. Carnivals were a place for people to ride the Ferris wheel, eat food, and play games. Circus parades let people know the circus was in town. Today, children enjoy some of the same events. As long ago, some children go to the circus when it comes to town. The carnival is still a place for families to have fun. Now, many children go to theme parks, where fast roller coasters and merry-go-rounds are very popular. Children of all ages enjoy carnival rides. You have seen how Americans played long ago. People played games with friends, spent long afternoons in the park, and took vacations to places near their homes. Today, people do these things and more. Today, people can play video games on a computer or play in a water park. They can enjoy swings and slides in parks. And travel to places that are far from home.